Yo, what's up fellas and ladies, how you doing? It's your boy Al, I'm back again as always. Um, I have a new ride to do today. I think this is gonna be hot. I have never tried this technique I'm gonna talk to you about. Montana Rail Link Covered Hopper. I want you to take a look at this uh, photo. I'm gonna let it up there. I'm gonna let it stand there for a little bit because I want you to see how I'm gonna have to create that blue, green, and white in that picture. I'm gonna create that on this model that you see here. So take a look at the picture and see what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, now you see on that picture, I'm gonna try to recreate that using this stuff called Blue Stick by Dat. You're probably like, oh, how, how? Well, what I was doing is I was thinking, how am I gonna spray this model on a covered hopper to get the effect, like the picture? You know, how can I get that effect? I was thinking, thinking, I don't know what to use. Can't use tape, it's gonna leave a sharp line. Uh, it's gonna be very difficult. So I'll show you. It's like a putty. Simple like this, right? So now what it does is it, you can apply it to anything. Apply it to anything like this. And then flatten it right out. So what my plan is to do, I hope it works, is once it's flattened out on the model, I'll be able to do things like this. And by doing all this randomly, I'll be able to get, after I spray it all green, it's gonna go over this covered hopper. I'm not gonna pick it up now because I don't have gloves on. Um, what I'll do is I'll attempt to take it off. As you can see, I use another piece and it kind of just comes right off. Pretty simple, but the very first step, as you see in the, in the photo, is I'm going to have to fade this covered hopper down. This is the model right here, as you can tell. It's probably a little bit more bluer on its screen, but it definitely is. What I had to do was I had to mix up the blue paint because this was much darker blue, even when I faded it down. It just looked more grayish, dark blue. I didn't get the blue that you see from the picture right now. As you can see, it's more bluer, it's faded down, everything's all set. Also, while I was not recording, as you can see, I remembered it to the correct number. 50094, as in the picture. Step now is going to be to begin applying this stuff. Let's adjust the camera focus down to this and watch as I do this. I fast forwarded all the stuff I was doing, but I did the top, I did the sides here. I'm testing it on one side first, so hopefully it works out good. Man, he's a pump ass guy. I even mixed up got my video. Anyway, we'll test this out here. I got the green, I had to mix that up, and we're gonna give it a shot here and see how it comes out. And I think if this works out good, it's the new way. Me pioneering new ways. Let's check it out. Hopefully this looks good. So, how hard is it for me just to remove everything? And it's just gonna be monotonous for me to do all this. So, I don't think I need to show you in a video how I remove it all. Alright, so we didn't know whether it was gonna work or not. I did not know if it was gonna come out nice or if it was gonna come out whack. <laughs> No, you're yeah, behind messing around. That shit came out good. But anyway, I didn't know it was a brand new technique. We are doing this together. Look at this model. It's off the hook. 
the results look good as hell. As the exact results I was trying to get using this putty stuff. I had it in my head, boom, here it is. After I am done doing the other side, I will return and we'll see how the results are. As you can see from the picture right now, do the white and red over here, I'm gonna use a paintbrush and dry brush that on here, which is no big deal, so I'll show that to you as I do that. And then it's gonna be a matter of adding the graffiti and a little bit of a uh, weather into the trucks and bottom, and it'll be a complete model. Next, I'm going to do the red right along here, so I have to mix up the paint first. I shall return. Here's the color red I mixed up. Beautiful. Okay, so I figured there was no harm in me showing you how this uh, pencil, charcoal pencil works. been around two and a half to three hours to complete this project and all I have to say is comparing it to the picture I am very very satisfied with it I didn't expect identical results doing a new technique but I can say that this new technique is off the hook it's off the hook I mean this thing looks good so what I want you to do Let's take a look at that picture that I was copying right now. Now look at this baby. Look at that, look at that. Hot, right? I'm loving it, man. I'm just really, really loving it. What I want you to do is Take a look at the pictures after this. So check them out. See if you like it. I think you're gonna like it. This is hot. I think it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous model. I didn't shoot for perfection, but it looks damn good and it's very, very close. About 90% close. And that's about it. For now, I'm gonna be out. I just had to share this new technique. I hope that some people take this technique and apply it. That's all I hope when I do these how-to videos. I hope someone actually says, okay, let me give this a try. And they actually do it. The results are good. I mean, that stuff is really great. Just to remind you what it is, blue sticks. And I'm going to get out of here and take the pictures and edit this video. So I'll see you on the rebound. Peace out.